think you can do a better job. Get on with it. Parents of America, help is on the way. Tonight. I know, I'll be up in a minute. Brent and Vicki Spaulding have a lot to learn about raising six kids. I haven't slept in 10 years. Mom shelters them so much, she schools them at home. But with interruption, after interruption, after interruption, <laughs> Mom's days have gone to the dogs. Through the whole day, there's never quiet. And Dad's nights are much, much worse. Bedtime is a nightmare. We stay up. All hours of the night. You call our house, we're up. It doesn't matter. Can Nanny Deb get this family to band together? I want to do what's best for my children. It's Schoolhouse Rock. This okay. isn't about you. Tonight on Nanny Spalding. We have six very active, busy boys. Our normal day is chaotic. <laughs> My name is Brent Spalding. Having six boys can be very challenging. The creativity that is misdirected. It's like, well, what happens if we put a fly in the microwave? What happens if we squirt toothpaste? Well, toothpaste cleans our teeth, so it must clean the mirror, too. Let's see. It's crazy. It's a zooey. We have a pretty busy household. Luke is nine years old. He's very dramatic. Luke really tries to be the center of attention. If my wife and I leave, like if we go on a date, he tends to get upset about us leaving. Aiden is six. He's very testosterone-y. He's our Dennis the Menace. Owen is four. He really likes to torment his little brother. He's very good at making excuses for getting out of what we want him to do. <laughs> you need to come downstairs and have a timeout. You'll ask him, oh, and why did you do that? And then he'll look at you and go, Daddy, I love you. I, I love you and I suck. And try to get you to just melt. <laughs> Gabriel, who is two, keeps us hopping from the moment we get up until he falls asleep at night. He goes around the house just kind of bouncing off of anything. Cameron is four months old and he's uh, used to being loved and held and a little spoiled with that. Seth is almost eight. This last year has been a little bit tougher for him. He has spina bifida. He's a child who's had 12 surgeries. He's a tough cookie. When we are handing him over to a doctor, and they are saying, you might not see your son alive again. That's a very, very hard thing to do. I have a brother with um, cerebral palsy, and he was not treated well at school. There was a lot of people that would make fun of Tony to his face, and I would never choose to allow my children to be put through that. Just follow these directions. At the start. As a mom, that protective bear instinct comes out. So I chose to homeschool. And it wasn't, Brent, what do you think about homeschooling? It was. Brent, I'm going to homeschool. We can protect them from all the bad things around. That's important in today's society. <laughs> School is not always a real safe place to be. The home is. <laughs> On a normal school day, I have to be a huge multitasker. I have to be the cook, the cleaner, the laundry doer, the milk provider, teacher, chauffeur, referee. Stop! She takes on a lot of responsibility. Once school starts, you have children that need you and are demanding and are cranky and fighting and whining. And you also have the two-year-old and the four-year-old running in and out of the room. I know, I'll be up in a minute. And each of them also needs some one-on-one -on -one time with mom. Always a baby on my hip. Sometimes the phone ringing, sometimes the cell phone ringing. Milo running through the house, chasing the two little ones, Milo being the dog. He usually parks himself under the school table and proceeds to bite at everybody's feet. There's never quiet. Screaming. Yeah. This is how many tins? Let's do the first one together. I need to still have dinner on the table when my husband walks through the door and um, not be losing my mind. Even when he comes home from work, it's all about the kids. Usually we start trying to put the children to bed around 8 o'clock. It's bedtime. It's time to go to sleep. Brent will put them in bed and then lay between them on a pillow and usually hold both of their hands. We should be able to say, good night, boys, 
I do like to cuddle with my kids at night. If I say, you've been gone all day, I want your one-on-one, -on -one, it'd be hard to peel him away from the boys. <laughs> I enjoy being close with my boys. Brent will not leave the kids awake. I can be there, I'll lay with them, I'll cuddle with them, give them that security they need. It's time to get to sleep now, okay? But after the kids go to bed, I need to be able to have another adult to have a conversation with. As a wife, as a woman, this is time I need with you. I like to be near my children. We don't have any time to be a couple at the end of the day. Go to sleep. I don't always maintain my calm. You've been up here for 25 minutes. Let's go. I'm not going to change. I'm sorry. I can't do this. I need a clean